Hi, and welcome to the first video in a five-part series that shows how to deploy Windows 2016 using HPE Image Streamer within a HPE Synergy environment. The first step is to create a server profile using HPE Composer powered by HPE OneView. From the dashboard, select Server Profiles and click on Create Profile. Enter a name that's meaningful for your environment. Under Server Profile Templates, select None. Under Server Hardware, choose a blade that you wish to base the OS build on. On the OS Deployment Plan, choose the Foundation Plan that's coming from HP Image Streamer, and then set the OS volume size based on the requirements for your build, in this case 40 gigabytes for Windows 2016. Choose the firmware version and apply it during the first post of this server profile. Next, we're going to add a network connection so we can make any updates or changes to, through the build process. Provide a name and then associate the VLAN to that connection. Click Add. Finally, click Create to finalize the profile creation. Profile will take about three minutes to create. Once created, click Power On and then connect to the remote console of the host. In this section, we're going to install Windows 2016 Data Center Edition onto the server. Once you connect to the integrated remote console, map a virtual drive to the location where you have the Windows ISO. At this point, we would apply the firmware, if required, that we assign during the profile creation. The server will reboot after the iSCSI configuration is applied. After it reboots, go into one-time boot and select ILO Virtual Media. Then select any key to boot off the Windows ISO image. We're going to configure a default install of Windows 2016 Data Center Edition. First, we choose the version of Windows. So this will be Windows 2016 Data Center Edition without desktop experience. Read and if you agree, accept the license terms. And we're going to select custom install and choose the drive that we presented via the HPE Image Streamer. This process takes approximately 20 to 30 minutes, and I've compressed the time during the install for the purposes of this video. Once the server reboots, change the administrator password and log in to the OS. Type sconfig to see the configuration of the host. You can see we successfully installed Windows onto this blade. In this video, we created a server profile and installed Windows 2016 Data Center Edition onto the server. For more information, please use the following links.